So who is ready for a spot of hygge planning? We are rounding, rounding off the week. Q&A as usual, we've got book talk, um, housekeeping talk, and as always, your choice of four self-care missions. So let's dive straight in. Diane and Denmark here, ra ra ra. We are do doing bleh, our usual thing. We are rounding off the week. We're tying up the week with a bow. We're looking forward, seeing, planning a bit ahead, looking after our homes, looking after ourselves. And I'm just going to dive straight into it. Let's start with the usual uh, Q&A. And the, the questions, uh, the, these are questions that you've asked me on my YouTube videos. And it's always a mix of kind of personal things, life in Denmark, uh, something to do with decluttering that we've been doing. So here we go. So first one is... From, uh, from several people, from Darlene in New Zealand, Sylvia Gray, Angela Barbara, Dove and Olive, and also Cindy Sigmund. And you all had a question about one of the uh, self-care missions from last week. I think it was last week when I mentioned, you know, do some kind of a uh, little beauty chore for getting you ready for the next season and the I dye my eyebrows and I had a lot of questions about that and I, I do them myself I, I had a very bad experience when I was younger getting them done in a, a, a hairdresser's anyway it went badly wrong and uh, and uh, you know I don't do any sponsored content no affiliate uh, links, that kind of stuff. And, and I buy a little kit at the local pharmacy. And what I would say is, whatever product you buy, follow it to the letter. Make, make sure you've kind of researched it. Don't, don't be doing things in a hurry. And it comes in a little kit where you just, uh, the one that I've got, because they're all, they're all different, where you mix up two components um, and then you put it on with an applicator. And then you, you leave it to sit and then you wipe it off. But as I said, don't, don't ask me to make a video about it. All, all the kits are very different, but it's, a, it's a, an easy way for me to keep my eyebrows in. Oh, hold on. I think there's a wasp in here. Okay, I think we're good. Also, Cindy Sigmund asks, in addition to the eyebrow thing, um, which uh, tanner I was using, because I mentioned that I like to use a self-tan on my legs. I, I, I'm not a, a big fan of lying out in the sun and sun tanning, so I, I use uh, self-tan often in the winter. And uh, the, the one, I, I have to say, I bought this one because of the name, but actually it's been quite nice. The smell's not too bad. Vegan friendly formula. It's called Glow, Glow Your Own Way. <laughs> Um, and, and it's quite, it's quite a dark one, but I like to put that, you know, on my shoulders and my back if I'm, if I'm wearing some kind of uh, fancy uh, jumpsuit for a party and especially on my legs. So that, that was that. Janet Alway, hi Janet, says, do you have lunch at Ikea? I, I posted on the community tab, I give you little reminders of what the daily focus is. And I was doing an Ikea, an Ikea run and Janet, I don't usually eat at Ikea because our Ikea is a five minutes drive away from us. It's very, very handy. And I scan myself. We've, we've got the Ikea app here where you can scan your items as you go and then you just pay at the end and take your stuff with you. So I'm in and out in five minutes. And usually I will go as kind of mid-morning. I, I fit it in with uh, coaching clients, between coaching clients. Uh, and the, I do like the IKEA food, uh, but of course, <laughs> a, a lot of it is Scandinavian. Um, but they do have half price on Fridays. And um, I used to often go with, with uh, Vibeke, maybe we'd do, you know, at the beginning of the season, we, we'd go for a little look and see what the spring things were or the autumn things. So maybe I'll, I'll speak to uh, Vibeke and we might have lunch there soon. Do you have an IKEA near you? Is it miles away? I know when I first moved to live in Luxembourg, the nearest one was in Saarbrücken in uh, Germany. It was like an hour and a half uh, to drive there. And now, uh, now our local one is five minutes away. Right, next one is for from Therese Pazel in Chicago, Illinois, I think. And she's actually uh, got a comment about the idea of putting things on probation. You know, where if, if you're not wearing your clothes, put them on probation. Force yourself to wear things. 
Um, none of these are on probation today. And also, you know, if you've got um, household items like a vase or a lamp, are you using it? Let, let's, let's use it. If you don't enjoy using it, pass it on. And today, said that this made me laugh. She said, probation is such a great idea. It could work, it could work for people too. Absolutely, Therese. If there's people that aren't working for you, if it's not working out for you, then, uh, you know, try, try them out and then let them go. Okay, next, next question from Cindy Smith. And she says, I can't help but keep you on my playlist. Thank you, Cindy, because I was motivational. I would like you to note that if you did not start this way, where and how, where and... Where and how did you become so super organized and all together? Well, I'm not, I'm not all together, but I try, I try to be organized. I see you and think you have it all together. How did you get to that point and have you always been this way? I love your energy and enthusiasm. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Have a happy face kind of day. Well, thank you, Cindy. And um, rah, rah, rah. Uh, it, for many of you who are just kind of finding my videos now, um, I, I will put a link up there and down below to one of the first videos that I made. Uh, I was working as a fly lady mentor and I was talking about how far I, I, I've come with the fly lady system. And that, uh, you know, for me years ago, when I first found fly lady, it was 2000, 2006. It was when my son was starting school and I thought, oh, how, how on earth am I going to get him ready to, you know, and get us out of the door, baby sister in the pram and get, get him delivered in the morning. And I went looking for Fly Lady and I found the system and the, the rest is history. And before we, we moved here to, uh, to Copenhagen, I'd been working at the European, the, the Supreme Court of Justice of Europe. And everything was very organized, not a hair out of place at work, nothing, you know, everything was super organized. And then the problem was in, at home in my apartments and then in our house here, everything was just so chaotic. I was so embarrassed because it wasn't clean, it wasn't tidy. How, how could it be so organized at work and such, such a, a mess at home? But... That, that's why the, the Fly Lady appealed because it just gave me a system. It told, it told me what to do. I didn't have to invent the wheel. It was all kind of late mapped out for me. I'm always learning something new. I'm always improving things. I'm always decluttering more. As you saw in Monday's video, we're hoping at some point to move into a nice apartment, maybe in Christianshavn in the, in the center of the city. And I just feel better and better the, the, the less stuff that I have to manage. And the, the thing that the Fly Lady system has really given me is time with the family, being more organized at work, and time to do stuff that I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would have time for. Like the ice swimming, making friends at the age of over 50. I mean, I'm 56 now, so just so many good things. So just keep going with those baby steps, keep watching my videos, keep doing what I'm doing, and you will be at the same stage. Right, next one, Sharon W. And Sharon is commenting on the fact that I mentioned that we're spending the weekend at our Swedish cabin. Uh, on the south coast, we've got a, a nice uh, little tiny cabin there. And she said, do you pack clothing toiletries every time you go to your home in Sweden? Or do you keep a complete wardrobe, etc. there? Do you buy groceries on the way or keep a freezer stocked? We have a cabin on the lake and I'd like it to be a more relaxing experience. And happy birthday to Sue. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, my friend Sue, uh, Coach Sue, she, she turned 60 last week. So Sharon, yeah, I, I do a mixture of things because at the cabin, I keep a small uh, amount of things like um, pyjamas, underwear, kind of um, clothes for working in the garden there. And I've got some things like a few tops and old trousers that um, I've kind of finished with here, but I keep them there. And that just gives me a kind of small wardrobe. And then I'll pack a couple of things that I might want to wear over the weekend. 
Um, toiletries and makeup, that's all over in Sweden. I, I keep, you know, if I've got a little bit left of a, a lipstick, then, then I leave it over in Sweden. So I, I'm not carrying toiletries, things like that with me. Well, one thing that I have started carrying with me every time is my slippers. You know me, I love my slip, slippers. You can tell I'm getting old, can't you? And the food we have, um, a, a well-stocked kind of basic pantry and we have a fridge freezer. So in the freezer, I've got lots of things there, lots of options. And also when we're in Sweden, I will uh, go to the, um, the local grocery store and buy stuff there. Sometimes I'll bring food from, uh, from here. Um, so it's a kind of mix of that, but I, I like to have some basics over in Sweden. But what I would say, if, if you're traveling between uh, two homes or maybe you are going to your partner's place every second weekend, things like that, I keep a running list on Google Keep of things that I want to take to the summer house or things that I need to pack. And that will be things like my cordless headphones and the charger, though we've got chargers in Sweden, reading glasses, medication. So it, it's, it's helpful if there are things that you absolutely need to remember every time you go, keep it on a running list. Next one is a question from Germany or actually a comment from Julie Koenigskind in Germany. She says, Dear Diane, my three-year-old and I went to the library today to pick up some new reads for the weekend. We both love it there and go every week. She's comment Julie's commenting on the self-care missions. Okay, so regarding the subject of 10 minutes working on decluttering, working on cleaning, it was a question that was asked last week. Especially as a working mum with lots of volunteering tasks in church, kindergarten and beyond, the 10 minute chunks are so valuable. Yay! Progress over perfection. Yeah, that's a fly lady saying progress over perfection. I would feel absolutely defeated if I had to do it all and spend hours and hours. Yeah, okay. And then Julie says, by the way, I made your overnight bread rolls again. This has become a beloved Friday night tradition. When the little one is asleep, I clean up the kitchen, shine my sink and prepare the rolls for Saturday morning. I start the dishwasher and when I hear the water stream into the machine, I know the weekend is here. Pure self-care right there. See you Monday and feel better soon. Love from Ju Germany, Jul. And Jul, I love that because you, you've just summoned, you, you've just rounded up the, the essence of what I'm hoping I'm encouraging you and showing you what to do. Where we're cleaning, decluttering, 10 minutes at a time, we are using a bit of self-care. And I have the same Friday tradition. I also mix up a batch of my brilliant, even if I say it myself, overnight bread rolls. I do those on a Friday night and then I bake them Saturday morning to take to Blue Tits. And, and lots of the Blue Tits bake them as well. And my friend Sarah Jane, she always says, Diane, she, she's got this um, accent from down south in, in England, Diane. I, and she, she watches my video while she makes it and she watches the whole video every, every time and then she'll be chatting along with me. Diane, I made your rolls. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to the rolls above and below. It, it's, it's the simplest recipe, but follow the instructions to the letter, okay? I'm not going to go into it here, but if they don't work out, it's because you haven't followed the instructions. Right, last one of the uh, questions. This is from Renee Schwartz. And she says, oh, it's actually a comment. I want to thank you for always being so body positive, showing pictures of yourself and your friends in swimsuits. I was just talking about the Copenhagen uh, chill swimmers. And being honest about your ages. Okay, I'm 56. Yeah, I love being 56. I just turned 48 and I haven't worn a swimsuit in many, many years. And you have really inspired me not to worry about my figure and just get out there and exercise. So just having that mental shift is a form of self-care for me. And Renee, thank you for that because I think the, the situation, at least here in, in Copenhagen and, and in Denmark, because I get a lot of questions about, you know, the um, winter bathing that I do, that we swim naked. And there is, the, the Danes have such kind of healthy attitude to their bodies that they're not... Um, nobody, nobody's looking at you when you're getting undressed. We have communal changing rooms at the swimming pool, communal changing rooms everywhere. And 
it's not, um, I, you know, I'm from Scotland. When I first came here, it was a bit of a shock going in and, and changing, coming. And now I, I'm, I kind of feel so Danish. I do have the Danish passport. I've, I'm a Danish citizen now. But I really feel, I just love that, that. I think it's such a healthy attitude. And when I'm down winter bathing, you see um, ladies who've had a breast removed or we've all, you know, I've got my varicose uh, vein scars, you know, all shapes, sizes, bodies, and, and I just find it really refreshing. So I'm, I'm glad that when you see the photos of me and my friends at the Blue Tits Chill Swimmers, we are all ages, sizes, ethnicities, all countries, uh, all different hair colours, grey, you know, but, so, so uh, thank, thank you for that uh, question, uh, thanks for that comment, Rini. And then a quick update on books and then let's get into the self-care because I've got something a wee bit different for you today. On the books, I picked up my Ellie Griffiths, so I'm currently reading The Last Word. I'm also um, listening to an audiobook, can't remember the name right now, the three card trick mystery, something like that. Enjoying that one. I'll, I'll put the name up here and you'll, you'll find that. I'll, I'll put the name in the comments. I finished the J.M. Hall Clock Stop Dead. I loved it. That, that was an audiobook. And I finished reading the Joe Silva, uh, the, the Curse. And both of those I really enjoyed. And one that I have um, put myself on the list for, I'm, I'm in the queue at the library, is the next, um, the Anastasia Hastings book. Remember, I read the Dear Miss Hermione uh, mystery, the first one. I'm really looking, looking forward to reading the next one, which is called Of Hoaxes and Homicide. So, so that's hopefully coming up soon. And as always, I love getting your uh, recommendations. Some of them I've been able to find at our local Danish library, so keep those coming. You know, I'm, the things that I love best are the cosy mysteries, the cosy crimes. And let's not forget about our housekeeping. This week we were working in Fly Lady Zones 5, the living room, the den, and also Fly Lady Zone 1, which is the entryway to the house and the, uh, the hall, the dining room. And you saw me decluttering a lot of stuff in Monday's video. Now remember to comment when, you, when you've watched the video. And next week we are moving forward. Let's get my control journal and I shall tell you we're moving into Fly Lady Zone 2. And I'm sure I can find some more to declutter there and I can encourage you to declutter more there too. And for your choice for self-care mission, something a wee bit different today, I, I wanted to give a little plug for the, for the Fly Lady Daily Focus and give you some ideas of how you can use that and combine it with self-care. So the Fly Ladies Daily Focus, it's just, it's, it's a great way to, to keep our houses ticking over, to look after ourselves, and it takes the guesswork out of it for you. And you don't need to do these things on the prescribed days, but it just gives you an overview of what you might like to get done. I mainly stick to the days and sometimes I switch them up, but Mondays are usually uh, the quick weekly upkeep clean. We're not cleaning the whole house, just the 10 minutes on, on each uh, task, like vacuuming, dusting in, in the, the high traffic areas. But the other, the other days, I'm gonna give you some self-care missions. Okay, so here they come. Mission number one is connected to plan and play. Now, in plan and play day, we are maybe um, looking at your diary, see what's coming up. Is there a birthday coming up in the family? Do you have any bills to pay online? Do you need to send a, a, a greetings card to somebody? And for plan and play, what I usually do is I uh, reach out to friends and I say, oh, shall we go and see this movie or shall we go for a walk or how, how can we get together? And you can use the same idea for planning something for the family, something, something to look forward to, because if it's not already in the diary, it's not gonna happen. So I, I use my time on plan and play day to reach out to a friend. And this week I reached out to my friend Catherine, my, cat, my friend Catherine from New Zealand, Wellington area, who's been in Denmark longer than I have. Uh, we've known each other for years. We met through uh, the kids, the, the kids were in the same class at school. 
So I'm going out with uh, Catherine and with Catherine I normally meet up for, uh, we normally, uh, she's my concert buddy, we, we've got the same taste in music. We went to see, gosh I've forgotten the name of the artist now, the, the singer that was in The Knife. It'll, it'll come back to me. Oh, fe fevery. I had to look back in my diary there. Uh, so Catherine and I, we, uh, we don't, we're meeting up next week. And also I've got something planned with my bestie, Erica, Erica from America. She was away on holiday last week and I'm glad she's back. Usually with Erica, we will meet up uh, on, our, on, on the day where we usually both have the afternoon off on a Thursday. And we call that our little Friday shenanigans. So I've, I've already planned something with Erica. So go ahead and plan something nice for yourself. That, that's mission number one for Plan and Play Day. Mission number two, we're, we're connecting that with Anti-Procrastination Day. And if you saw in my uh, community tab here on YouTube with little reminders for you, something that I had been <laughs> procrastinating on was the, uh, we have screening here in Denmark for bowel cancer. When you're over the age of 50, or is it 55, uh, 50, you're called in or you're, you're, you're sent the, the screening offer every two years. So I have done that and it's sent off. And I also recently got my mammogram. I've got a haircut booked for next week. I'm feeling like the long-haired lover from Liverpool, if you remember that old Osmond song. Uh, so something to do with anti-procrastination day. What have you been putting off in the self-care department? Mission number three, we're going to link that to Erin Day in Fly Lady Land. And Erin's usually, Erin um, Day is Thursday in Fly Lady Land, but remember, it can be any day. Like next time you're out doing your errands, if you're at the grocery store or maybe you're at the ironmongers or maybe you're at the, uh, the nursery buying plants, buy something just for you, okay? A small thing. And I, I stopped at the green grocers this week and I've been passing, I, I pass the green grocers when I'm out on my bike um, in the village every day. And I've just, the, they've got the most beautiful hortensia uh, hydrangeas. And the other day, I, I, I just had to stop and buy a nice uh, a garden hortensia. And it looked so fun in, in my bike basket. And that was just a real thing of self-care for me because I can look out. I, I can see it when I'm having my morning coffee and hopefully sitting out there soon having my morning coffee. And it's just a, a little boost to me. So that's linked to Erin Day. And then self-care mission number four, we're going to link that to Fly Lady Friday, which is um, tied out your car, tied out your handbag, get rid of any uh, snotty hankies, any receipts, stuff like that. And also it's date night. And we'll also link it to um, family fun, rest and recharge, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, do something nice for date night or or for the family and I'm thinking for me that's going to be making up a little cocktail for me and hubby because if you saw on Monday's video we've got some um, I've got some Edinburgh liqueurs from the Edinburgh gin company I've got elderflower and I've got some raspberry and I'm thinking I'll make a little cocktail for the two of us so that that's going to be I'm going to be doing number four I've already done number three with the hortensia did my anti-procrastination task of a bit of uh, self-care with looking after my health care. Um, and number one, I've already planned some fun for next week. I shall see you on Monday woo with a 10-minute declutter. And I may do the this cosy roundup planning. I may do that earlier next week because next week is ascension yeah and uh, it's ascension holiday here in denmark next week christi himmelfart yes i did say the word fart uh, it means christ's um heaven flight and denmark is closed completely closed uh, on thursday as i've mentioned before in denmark state and church are linked and we follow all the kind of religious holidays is your country the same? Uh, so I'll probably be spending time with hubby 
and the family Thursday, Friday. So I shall let you know about that on Monday. As usual, I would appreciate it if you could give me a little pat on the back by subscribing, sharing the video with a friend because I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Woohoo! And well on, well on the way. Have a great weekend. All I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the cozy hygge planning self-care be with you and see you on Monday with the wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, bye for now.